Welcome to Mode Bespoke, I'm Martinez, and today we're going to be working on the Argyle Scarf. So let's get started. So here's a look at the scarf we're going to be crocheting today. So one of the sides is going to have the argyle pattern, and the other side, here we go, is going to have uneven stripes. So this uh, scarf is the matching scarf to the argyle hat that we made last week. So if you haven't watched this tutorial, I'll link it up here at the top. So for this project, I used the two hanks that I got from KnitPal. Now if you haven't watched that review, I'm going to link it up here at the top of the video. but. The order comes with two hanks, and if you want to purchase the yarn, you can uh, check the description box below. I used the New Mexico cherry and silver colors, but with both of those hanks, you can make these both of these projects. So the total of, on that is going to be 500 yards of size uh, 3 DK yarn. You can make both of these projects. But let's take a look here at our scarf. Now, the scarf measures it's seven inches across and then it's 35 inches long so this is a short scarf if you don't want to make the hat and you just get the two hanks of yarn you can make a really lengthy scarf but I'm gonna use uh, I just wanted the matching set so I did make a short scarf you're also going to need the chart now this chart is available on my website and I will link that down in the description box below but you can uh, get the PDF version of this pattern and it's a step-by-step -step PDF if you're interested. Now for the scarf you're going to use like I said before um, about 500 yards of number three DK yarn and it's two colors. You're also going to use a size five hook so you're going to use 250 yards in color one and then 250 yards of color two. So that's what you're going to see also on the so chart. Color two is going to be this cherry color and color one is going to be the silver. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this teal or aqua color and white, but it's going to be the same thing. You're going to have color one and color two. So now let's get started here. We're going to begin this pattern by chaining 33 stitches. So we're going to begin with a slip knot. So just wrap the yarn around two fingers, insert your hook into the loop that you just made, grab the yarn in the back and pull that through and tighten it by pulling on the two threads of yarn at the bottom. We're going to yarn over and pull the top loop through the bottom loop to have to make a chain. So make a chain of 33 stitches and then I'll see you again here in just a moment. So once you've made your chain, we're going to begin row one. So for row one, we're going to chain two more. And we're going to begin our first half double crochet on the third chain from your hook. So count two chains and on chain number three we're going to begin stitching so to make a half double crochet you need to yarn over you're going to insert your hook into the stitch and then you yarn over and pull up a loop so you're going to have three loops on your hook and now you just have to yarn over and pull through all three loops and that is a half double crochet so you're going to half double crochet in every stitch of the chain so for those of you that need to see it again let's make another one so we're going to yarn over we're going to insert the hook into the stitch and then we're going to yarn over and pull out the hook. You'll be left with three loops on your hook and all you, all you do is just yarn over and pull through all three stitches. So continue to half double crochet in all of our stitches and then I will see you at the end of the row. So once you get to that last stitch, we'll have to work a color switch in the very last stitch of the row because our next row is going to be in a different color. So for color two, I use this teal color. Color one is going to be the silver that you see here, but I'm going to use white. So we're going to have to switch color to work the next eight rows in color one. So to do a color switch, you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook into the stitch. And then you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. So you'll have the three loops that you need for your half double crochet. But when you finish the stitch, you're going to use your other color. So I'm going to use this white yarn. 
and just loop it around your hook. And then you're going to pull this white loop through all three of the teal loops. So you're going to pull color uh, one through the loops of color two. Like so. And then we just tighten this up. And then we're going to chain two. So I'm going to move everything here. And we've got chain one and then chain two. And then you turn your work around. For this next row, we're going to begin in the very first stitch. So you're just going to half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then we're going to half double crochet in every stitch of the row. Only this time, you no longer have to switch color. Because for the next, it's going to be a total of eight rows. So finish this one and then seven more rows. You're going to work in just one color. So when you finish the very last stitch of row number nine, switch colors because the first stitch of row 10, which is going to be the chart, you're going to begin in teal. So here I am at the very end of the row. So this is the last stitch of row nine. So I'm going to work a color switch. So I'm just going to pull up my three loops and then grab my other color and pull that through. So here's my loop. I'm going to pull it through the three white loops. And now I'm just going to chain two. There we go. Turn my work around. And I'm ready to begin row one of the chart. So if you have your PDF copy of this, you can pull that out. Otherwise, you can take a look at the chart that we have here on the screen. You are going to have to carry yarn since you're going to have to work with two colors simultaneously. So just hold whatever yarn you're not working with. You're going to pull it on top of the stitches. So here, let me show you with this first stitch. So I'm just going to loop the white yarn. I'm going to lay it on top of my stitches like so. And now I'm going to complete my first half double crochet in teal, which is going to be in color two, as you see on the chart. But it has to be a color switch because stitch number two of the row is in color one. So I've got my three loops in teal. I'm just going to drop my teal yarn. So I'm going to let this drop right here behind my work. And I'm going to pull up the white yarn. And then I just yarn over and pull through all three loops. So I've completed that very first stitch of the first row of the chart. And now I have to carry the teal yarn. So I'm going to lay it on top of the stitches that I'm going to be working on. So like so. And that way as I work my half double crochets, it's going to hide the yarn. So my next seven stitches are going to be worked in color one, which I'm using white. So I'm going to crochet six half double crochets. And for stitch number seven, we're going to work a color switch. So I go at six. And once you have six stitches, just make sure you pull through on your teal yarn or whatever color it is that you're carrying because sometimes it pokes through the stitches. So you will be able to see the yarn that you're carrying just a little bit. But if it pokes through a little too much, just tug on the yarn a little bit. Just make sure that nothing's popping out too, too much. And you want all of your work to remain loose. So make sure you don't pull on it too hard. Because look, let me pull on this a bit tight. So it's going to pull on your work and then it's going to make your scarf uneven. So make sure that your tension on your work is really very loose as you're working. And that way your scarf will be the same, the same width all the way across. All right. So now continuing with stitch number seven, we're going to work a color switch. So we're going to go back to teal and I'm just going to drop the white yarn towards the front yarn over in teal. And then we're going to crochet one in color number two, and this is going to be a color switch. So yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, drop the teal, pick up the white, and finish the stitch. And now the last seven stitches of the row are worked in white. So you are going to have to repeat this row. So go back to that first stitch of the row, and that is going to be a teal stitch. So for stitch number seven, you're going to want to work a color switch. Be sure to do that for stitch number seven, and then you're going to go back to the very first stitch of the row, which is in teal, and you're just going to repeat all the stitches we just did. So go back to stitch number one on the chart and begin again. So one teal and then seven, one teal, seven, until you complete the row. So the very last stitch of your row is going to be the very first stitch that we just completed. So let me just finish this row real quick, and then I'll show you what I mean. So keep working on this. Repeat that 
uh, the row one more time and I'll see you in a moment. So I've completed a second repetition of um, the row and I'm down to my last two stitches. So that last stitch, which is going to be stitch number seven, is going to be a color switch. And the very last stitch of the row, I'm going to crochet that in teal. And I'm going to do that as a color switch because the first stitch in row two is in white. So I'm going to chain two and let me pull my work down a little bit so you can see. So we've completed row one. So the first stitch of the row and the last stitch of the row are going to be the same. So see they both end in the same stitch and that's so that it completes your pattern. So you're going to do this in every one of the rows. So the first stitch and the last stitch are always the same. So let's move on to row number two. So you've already chained two. We're gonna have to carry our yarn again. And the first stitch in row two is in white. So beginning on the very first stitch of the row, we're going to uh, crochet one in white and it will have to be a color switch. We're gonna follow that up with one stitch in teal. And then we have five in white. So there's one two, three, four, and this last stitch, so stitch number five, is going to be a color switch. The next three stitches are in teal. So we have one, two, three. The next five stitches are in white. Throw a little more yarn here. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. And the very last stitch of the row is going to be in teal. So remember that we are going to have to repeat this row. And the very first stitch of row number two, which is the row we're working on, is in white. So you're going to work this teal stitch, but it's going to be a color switch. And there's row number two. Go back and repeat that from the beginning and I'll see you for row number three. So for row number three, we're gonna begin with two stitches in white. And we're gonna do one stitch in teal. And then three stitches in white. We have one, two, and three, five stitches in teal. There's one, two, three, four, and five. We switch to white and we're going to need three stitches. So there's one, two, three, switch to teal for one stitch, and we're going to end the row in one stitch in white. So oh, there's my teal. Okay, we have one stitch in white, and then we're just going to repeat row number three. So for row number four, we're going to begin with three stitches in white. We're going to do one in teal. I'm going to go back to white. And we need one stitch in white. And then we need seven stitches in teal. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. We're going to stitch one in white. And then one in teal. And we're going to end the row with two stitches in white. And there you go. 
Row number five begins with four stitches in white. And then we switch to teal and we're gonna work one stitch. And then we're gonna work one stitch in white. We'll need five stitches in teal. And then one stitch in white. And then one in teal. And then three stitches in white. And there we go. For row number six, we're going to begin with three stitches in white. I'm going to switch to teal. And we're going to work three stitches. So there's one, two, three. We're going to switch to white. And we need one stitch in white. And we're going to do three stitches in teal. We're going to work one stitch in white. And then we're going to do three in teal. And then we're going to finish the row with two stitches in white. And there we go. For row number seven, we're going to begin with two stitches in white. We're going to work five in teal. And then one in white. One in teal. And then one in white. Uh, five in teal. And our last stitch is worked in white. For row number eight, we begin with one stitch in white. And then we're going to work seven stitches in teal. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to work one stitch in white. And then we're going to finish the row with seven stitches in teal. For that last stitch on this row, uh, so stitch number seven, Work that as a color switch because when you do your repeat, that very first stitch of row number eight is in white. So work stitch number seven as a color switch. There we go, we switched to white. And now we just repeat row number eight. For row number nine, we're gonna begin with two stitches in white. And we have five stitches in teal. And then 
one in white. One in teal. And one in white. Five in teal. And then the very last stitch of the row, we're going to work in white. There we go. And just repeat row number nine. Row number 10 begins with three stitches in white. And we're going to work three stitches in teal. And then we're going to have one stitch in white. Switch to teal. There we go. We're going to work three stitches in teal. And then there's one stitch in white. And three stitches in teal. And we're going to end the row with two stitches in white. All right, so for row number 11, we're going to begin with four stitches in white. Then you work one in teal. And we're going to go back to white and we have one stitch. And then we have seven, uh, not seven, sorry, we have five, five stitches in teal. Got a bit ahead of myself there. So many stitches do we have here? One, that's two, three, four. Okay, five. So we just need five. Then we're going to switch back to white. And we need one stitch in white. And then one stitch in teal. And then we're going to finish the row with three stitches in white. That's one. Two and three. And that's row 11. All right, so row 12 begins with three stitches in white. And then we're going to do one stitch in teal. And one in white. And now we're going to work seven stitches in teal. Sorry, that's six. Okay, and seven. We're going to work one stitch in white. And we're going to follow that up with one stitch in teal. And we're going to end the row with two stitches in white. For row number 13, we begin with two stitches in white. 
we're going to do one stitch in teal. We're going to do three stitches in white. We're going to work five stitches in teal. And then we're going to do three stitches in white. One stitch in teal. And our last stitch of the row is worked in white. Row number 14 begins with one stitch in white and then one stitch in teal. Five stitches in white. And we have three stitches in teal. And then five stitches in white. Two, three, four, five. And the last stitch is in teal. So remember to end this in a color um, switch, at least when you're doing this first repetition. The second repetition. We are going to begin the next row, which is row number 15. We're going to begin that in teal. So here we are at row number 15, and that's one stitch in teal. And this is just a repetition of row one of the chart. So it's one in teal, and then seven in white. six and seven and then you're going to work one stitch in teal and we're going to finish the row with seven stitches in white so work your second repetition of this pattern or of this row and then that last stitch will have to be in teal you're going to want to do a color switch to end in white or whatever color one is for you so here's row 15, let me do my repetition and I will show you what I mean. So after I worked my second repetition of row 15, and I'm on that last stitch, I crocheted that in teal and I did that in teal as a color switch. So remember that it matches row number one. So let me chain two and now you can cut color two. So I'm just going to cut this teal yarn. We're not going to need it for a little while. And let's get this out of the way just to make it a little bit neater here so you can all see what I'm going to be doing. All right, so this next part of, of our pattern is really quite easy. So here's our argyle pattern. It's all ready to go. Now let me grab my cherry and silver scarf to show you what we're going to do next. So since this is all quite easy, I'm just going to go through the row numbers with you and then I'll let you um, work on, on completing this. So for this next part, so you're gonna see this big section here in silver. You're gonna work this, it's gonna be a total of 56 rows. So it's 56 rows in color one, and then two rows in color two, or in teal. And we have three rows in color one, which is a white, and then four rows in color two, which was the teal, one row color one, and then we're gonna have 24 rows in color two, three rows in color one, 
and then that very last row in color two. And that's it. So it's really quite simple. Now, when you're done with all of your color switches, you're gonna want to weave in all of these ends. So that's just so you can finish the scarf. If you don't know how to weave in ends, I'm gonna link a tutorial up here at the top of the video. That way you can learn how to do that. So don't just cut those off, weave them in. Um, but that's it. And I just wanted to show you something else I did here in the scarf. So I added these little buttons. So they're, they're quite small. This is optional, so you're not gonna see that on the written pattern either. But these buttons just fit through my stitching. So make sure that they're small. That way you don't have to do a buttonhole on them, but it helps keep the scarf secure because since it is a small, uh, it's a short scarf. So it might help keep your scarf a little bit more secure and that way it doesn't fall off while you're wearing it. But I like adding a little buttons. So there you go, but that's optional. So you can do that if you want to, but that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I post videos every week. If you want to see any more of my work or you want to see the written pattern, you can check out my website. And I'm going to link that down in the description box below. You can also follow me on Instagram to see photos of my other work. But that's it. So I will see you all again in the next tutorial.